This is Diamond's D-Jet. It's a single-engine, four-plus-one-seat airplane, and in the fledgling market of very light jet and personal jet aircraft, you may be looking at the next model to be certified by the FAA. Diamond's third certification prototype has been flying since spring, and the company has received nearly $20 million in repayable investments from the Canadian government to see the project through. In March, the company announced the jet would receive an engine upgrade to the Williams FJ33-19 engine. In April, Diamond announced it would equip the aircraft with Garmin Synthetic Vision G1000 avionics package and showcase that technology with a three-screen cockpit interface, two 12-inch primary flight displays, plus a centrally mounted 15-inch multifunction display. The D-Jet's modern interface ranges from full authority digital engine control to electrically adjustable rudder pedals and aim to increase pilot comfort and reduce workload and fatigue on long flights. Meant for easy operation by both owner pilots as well as professional pilots, standard autopilot and backup instrumentation is augmented with rather unique symmetrical placement of avionics control panels placed at each pilot's side, plus circuit breaker panels hidden in the pilot's armrests. The layout may afford a less intimidating appearance for passengers less familiar with and enjoying an open view of the cockpit from their seats, and also offers pleasant ergonomics for the pilots. Comfort and ease of accessibility were clearly design targets for Diamond's engineers. Most of the aircraft's key switches are large, and environmental controls are clearly marked. The design philosophy incorporated for pilots up front carries over for passengers in the back. The D-Jet cabin is easily one of the most spacious cabins available in an aircraft this size. And as a single pilot aircraft, Diamond has made the most of the space by allowing the co-pilot seat to rotate 180 degrees. In back, the jet's focus on utility of design is reinforced by a 60-40 folding rear seat that facilitates loading and access to baggage while still providing substantial room for two and adequate space for three adults. We've loaded our own 6-foot, 3-inch staffer into the back of this jet, and he emerged without any complaints. As for baggage, the D-Jet offers storage space in the nose of the aircraft, suitable for golf bags and the like, and a baggage area behind the rear seats. A fourth compartment allows even more storage space in the aft fuselage. The jet can carry a maximum useful load of 2,240 pounds. With the latest engine upgrade, it's possible that the aircraft may ultimately be certified for more weight, but Diamond says buyers should expect the aircraft to meet its stated objectives only. For now, Diamond's D-Jet, with its 37.5-foot wingspan, is expected to carry five people to 25,000 feet, where it can maintain a pressurized interior at a cabin altitude of 8,000 feet. The aircraft is targeting a maximum range of 1,350 nautical miles, flying at 240 knots and economy cruise. That translates to more than 1,550 miles at 276 miles per hour and more than five and a half hours aloft. Flying shorter distances at higher speeds may be more routine for an aircraft that does not carry an onboard lav. And using a bit more fuel, the jet can cruise at 315 knots or more than 360 miles per hour. The D-Jet is currently priced at over $1.4 million. Type certification and first deliveries are expected in the second quarter of 2009.